Hi Disruptors! On today's video, we are going to be looking at strong and weak references. What is the difference between them and what creates these types of dependencies? A dependency is a state of relying on someone or something else. In out systems, this concept is applied to modules when we reference something between them. In each dependency link, we always have two modules, the consumer and the producer. The producer usually is the module that is below or sideways in terms of architecture to the consumer to maintain referential integrity, something that we have already talked about. There are a lot of elements that we can reference in out systems, so let's take a look into what elements create what dependency types. Strong dependencies are like a lock between modules. They are tightly coupled. In runtime, the consumer needs to know the signature and implementation of the element that he is consuming to use it. When there is a change published in the producer, the consumer needs to refresh this dependency to be republished to use the latest version of the producer. The elements that originate this type of dependency are on the processes tab, the processes and the processes activities. On the interface tab, the blocks, images, themes and scripts. On the logic tab, we have server actions, client actions and roles. And on the data tab, we have the resources. Weak dependencies are a connection between modules, but in a loosely coupled way. We have two reactions depending on the element that was changed. All changes made to non-structural elements on the producer take immediate effect on the consumer. With weak dependencies, the consumer only needs to know the signature of the element to be able to reuse it. The elements that originate this type of dependency are on the interface tab, the screens, on the logic tab, service actions, and on the data tab, database entities, local storage entities, static entities, and structures. By deploying a change in the producer module, OutSystems performs an impact analysis that can be one of the following. We can have no impact on the consumer. In this case, the changes had no impact on the consumer, and the consumer does not need to be refreshed and starts using the changes as soon as they are published we can have an outdated consumer. In this case, the changes are compatible with the consumer, but it is running an outdated version of the producer. To fix this, you only need to republish the consumer without needing to manually refresh references. We can have a potential incompatible consumer. In this case, the changes were made at the structural level of the producer, and it may have an impact on the consumer making it incompatible. To fix this, you need to republish the consumer to verify if the changes are compatible or not. If they are, there is no need to refresh the producer dependencies. We can have an incompatible consumer. In this case, the changes made the consumer incompatible with a probability of causing runtime errors. To fix this, the consumer module needs to be refreshed by hand in Service Studio and apply the changes to the logic if necessary. When it comes to handling dependencies, we can have three types of actions. The modified signature, which means the signature of an exposed element of the producer has changed with no impact on the consumer, giving it no need to be refreshed. We also have the incompatible signature, which means the signature of an exposed element of the producer has changed with impact on the consumer. This is dependent on the type of dependency that we talked about in the initial part of the video. If it's a strong dependency, this change will not originate runtime errors unless we republish the consumer without refreshing its dependencies. If it's a weak dependency, the change will cause runtime errors in the consumer module. The best way to deal with this is to refresh the consumer module and adapt the logic the change is made. And last but not least, the missing signature, which means an exposed element is no longer available to be referenced, this impacts the consumer. The impact is the same as the incompatible signature for weak and strong dependencies. To fix this, we need to refresh the consumer by removing the element from the consumer logic and adapt its logic to no longer have this reference. In the next video, we will be taking a look into a monolithic module refactory that might come in handy to analyze how to treat data and apply the best practices in terms of architecture into a real example. To check more videos, click the channel below or the video over here. 
And to be notified when we release more content, subscribe to our channel or follow our LinkedIn page. As always, thank you for watching and see you soon.